Hey, welcome to a Tuesday in the Channel 8 Newsroom. Dave Carvassier here. We are getting ready for the evening newscasts. Uh, Gary is working on his scripts. Denise is over here doing the same thing. We have a pr breaking story today of a, a young child apparently swept away in the running water, the rapid water of the Virgin River. We have a crew on the way up to the Mesquite area to find out what the heck is going on with that. Uh, Joe Bartell is right behind me here with a look at uh, what happened with the guy who got stung by a whole bunch of bees on Friday. So how is he? Well, he's doing great. He's just was released from the hospital here. He talked to us today about the ordeal, how it happened, uh, why it happened. Mm -hmm. He's got some advice for people if they find themselves in the same situation. 69 years old. 69 years old, military vet. What a survivor. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so. right. Thanks, Joe. Sure. One of our stories, too, we're covering today is the question, is there a need for two big uh, Ferris wheels or observation wheels uh, in Las Vegas? We're going to take a look at that. Calvert Collins working hard on a number of stories uh, for the 5, 6, and 11. What can you tell us about that school in the prison? Yeah, well, a lot of people don't realize Clark County School District has four schools in local prisons in southern mm -hmm. Nevada. They're required by law to educate inmates, but not all inmates get that mm -hmm. uh, special education. But you'll learn we had unprecedented access inside two two local prisons, right. hear from the inmates and the teachers about what they learn and how it keeps them from reoffending again. Yeah, that's a great idea. Rehab is important. All right, thanks, Calvert. Those stories are more coming up on your news between 4 and 6.30. Hope to see you then.